Okay. So, everyone, welcome to a special video. Um, if you guys saw on the page, we're doing a ticket giveaway for Bush to their loaded Greatest Hits tour. <laughs> So, yeah, um, the link for that will be in the description. But today, Colby, what are we doing? We're going to be going over our kind of our top five favorite Bush riffs or songs. Yeah. Uh, kind of be kind of diving deep into these songs, kind of playing some of the guitar parts and just saying of why we love these songs so much. Yeah. Um, so a lot of these are on the Greatest Hits album that they released, uh, I think, later last year. Um, or earlier this year, and you know these are just great. They're greatest hits for a reason. Like all of them, most of them are from Sixteen Stone, their first album, which is phenomenal first album. If you have never listened, go give it a listen. And then one of them is from Razorblade Suitcase, which is their second album. Second album produced um, by Steve Albini. Yes, rest in peace. Um, so yeah, I think we should just get right into it. Okay, so, okay. everyone, the first song that we're going to be doing is the first song off of 16 Stone. Um, really just an absolute banger, through and through. Oh, yeah. First through and through counter, start it. Um, but, yeah, uh, there's a slide part in this. Shout out Nigel Pulsford, the lead guitarist for Bush. Original lead guitarist. Um, original lead guitarist, yes. Right now it's Chris Trainer. And, um, yeah, just a killer part. Uh, I'm going to try to play it. Not a, not the greatest slide player, so yeah, we don't really have to like forgive a, me. But, um, yeah, Colby, you're going to play the... We can go piece by piece. Yeah, we can just... So, if you want to open with the intro part... Um, yeah. It's... Uh, I feel like Gavin had a lot of punk influence. Well, I don't know if it was him or Nigel writing a lot of these parts, but... Um, just the beginning part is just, just I think, the punk I think move. Gavin definitely writes a lot of the lead par not the lead parts, the rhythm parts. Um, I mean, Come Down was the first song I ever wrote. Yeah, so I, <laughs> I mean, so. come on now. Um, yeah, I, I, I think you're right. There's definitely a lot of British punk influence for sure, like Sex Pistols. Um, that that kind of, I mean, they are British, so. I don't know. It's just, uh, just in the first move. It's uh, Yeah. All right, but I'll go into it. Yep. <laughs> intro slash verse part to everything's end we kind of jammed on that a little bit but uh yeah that's uh sick it's just an awesome part what a way to open an album yeah for real it the, the tone is just i just love the tone going back to it the tone is just massive mm -hmm. just and you know when we saw them live i know a lot has like changed since this album first came out but the tone kind of lives up to it live like gavin is very loud like he was, he was standing in front of his amp, just co like feedbacking constantly. Um, but he was doing it awesomely, of course. Oh yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's it's just a, one, like you said, great way to open up an album. Um, just warm and fuzzy, and um. Yeah. I just figured it out. All recorded on a Jazzmaster. Yep. Uh, used to be owned by Joe Walsh. Awesome. Purple. Damn, I did not with know P90s. that. With P90s, it's sick. Sick. It's sick looking with the Bigsby. Oh. 
It's one of the coolest guitars I've ever seen, and all the 16 stone was recorded on it. And uh, yeah, you can tell it's a jazz master. Yeah, the uh, P90s especially. That's just they oh. just accept that fuzz very well. Yeah, it worked well. They give it such a warm, rounded sound. Mm-hmm. I feel like yep. it's just. <laughs> yeah, the, the P90s just give it such a warm and rounded sound. I think it, this whole album feels so. I know that it's released past the grunge era, but it feels so grungy. You know what I mean? The whole tone altogether just feels like it's washed. It just, I, I don't know. I love it. It's a, it's a great, I think it's great like album tone. When I was listening through it, like, you know, probably my third time already listening to it this week, um, I was just like surprised about how angsty it was. Yeah. In that, a way. That's exactly what I, I remember. I just today. saw, you know, uh, some interview and there was a lot of rage. Well, cause you know, Okay, I don't know. We don't have to get into it. Yeah, we don't have to get into but it. But there's a lot of angst in these songs. Yeah. You can tell it's a, um, a lot more rough around the edges. Pristine, mm-hmm. but rough around the reg- uh, edges in the way of uh, just Gavin's voice and the guitar. It's all just a beauti- beautiful symphony. Yeah. So that was the intro slash verse to Everything Zen. The chorus is something like this. So yeah, the chorus for Everything Zen, just an absolutely beautiful piece of music, really, for me. I just love, I'm not going to say the tone again, but uh, just a great one, really. Yeah, it's just a perfect use of power chords, um, and it, you just got that bend again, just like they do on the intro riff, dun, 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 dun. when they hammer on to the uh, third fret G, it's uh classic move and uh, just works perfectly for this song mm-hmm. all right so our second song that we that we are doing is swallowed off of their second album razor blade suitcase yes sir this is one of my favorites actually um yeah yeah it's a pretty big hit um i've always loved this song too since i've heard i've known this song for years um and it's got a lot of great parts a lot of great playing from nigel on this one and i'm um, ready to see this is pretty much an all ryan one So uh, let's hear the intro for this one. Beautifully clean but dirty at the same time. Yeah, it's just got. I just have a little like, my tone and my sustain are basically all the way down on this big muff pie, and the volume is just up. So, that's it. It's like just a little bit of dirt. That's that's all you need. Um, it just sounds great. Yeah, so it's pretty dry beginning of a song. Yeah, and uh, he comes in straight like on that. It's just the warm song. He's singing li- right along with it, um, and the strumming pattern is pretty. With the stabs, yeah. Yeah, it's. But like, yeah, with the with the stabs uh, that he does with the guitar, he follows it perfectly along yeah. with this melody. Yeah, it just sounds great. Um, and then, you know, that chorus is just massive. Uh, we can just run through that. Yeah. So this is both of us now. Yep. On guitar. So. This is the chorus for Swallowed. <laughs>
So, that chorus is just amazing. Love it. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorites. Um, yeah, I just love the way that it explodes. It's just massive. And that lead part under it is, it's just fun to play um, all together. So, yeah, the chorus is huge. It's just, I always love when it, it's just a wall of sound just comes out of come, comes at you out of nowhere. Just yeah, it just hits you like very hard. A lot especially of bands, after that. yes, but especially after that slow build up in the verse. But. A lot of a lot of bands use that technique a lot. And it's yeah. uh, it's a very very effective. Um, Yeah. yeah, a very, very effective um, way to just uh, catch your listener off guard. Yeah. Just to really grab them. And it's like, oh, okay, they, we're here now. You're just pulled in, like, immediately when that happens. And, yeah, it makes you just want to listen to it over and over again. It has that effect on you. Okay. So, Colby, what do we got next? So, for the third song, we're going to do Machine Head, also off of 16 Stone. One of my absolute favorite tracks off of it. Um, just a lot of attitude in this song. Yeah, that's um, a good way to put it. Damn. Yeah, it's uh, definitely it's faster. One of the fastest songs yeah. on the album, I think. A lot of cool percussive elements in this from both Nigel and um, Gavin. A lot of a lot of just great playing. Yeah. And also got a nice uh, cool off section. Um, where yeah, uh, it just breathes a lot. Just after the verse. The yeah. Yeah. So. This is the intro for Machine Head. So there we just played through pretty most much of most head. of the song. Um, it's just such a fun song to jam on, man. Uh, really, that's just such a fun one to play. Um, just like yeah. as we said earlier, like the percussive elements that Nigel and Gavin do There's in the just song. There's a lot of palm muting. A lot of... Just, it's, yeah. lot, it's a lot of fun to play. Um, go learn it right now. Um, but yeah, that one's great. Uh, I don't really have much more to say about that one. It's just... A stellar one. It's one of, it's in our top five. So, so for our second to last song, doing one of the biggest hits to come off of uh, Sixteen Stone, "Come Down." Yes, sir. It's always my. This might be my second favorite Bush song. Okay. Yeah. Following one we are not mentioning today, "Alien." Go check that one out. Killer song, but um, yeah, "Come Down." It's got a lot of great parts to it. Also, Gavin's first song that he ever wrote. And uh, it's not evident. I'll tell you that. Yeah, <laughs> it's, no. It's a great. It's a great song. So yeah. uh, I'll just go straight into it. Yeah, go for it. Um, the my favorite part about this riff, he used a lot of open strings. We've mentioned multiple times before. I love, open, love strings. open strings. Yes, thank you. I love open strings, and um, uh, it's gonna go straight into it.
open strings, baby. Uh, it sounds great. Um, yeah. And once again, I'm in my neck position just because I do not have a fuzz. Because if not, I'd be flicking that thing down. I'd be in bridge for this. But uh, yeah, it's epic. The song is an epic, and it's also got yeah. one of the most one of my favorite bass lines from the '90s too. For sure. And we would play it, but we don't have our bass amp here, so that's the only thing holding us back. Holding Colby back from playing it. Yeah, we don't have that our eight by ten here, you know. So yeah, we don't have our eight by ten amp pack here. <laughs> That'll uh, literally <laughs> take the rafters off of our house. Yeah. So uh, it shakes the it shakes the ground when it plays. So um, but yeah, come down. What a great song. So. <laughs> Yeah. Gosh, dude, that's that might be one of my favorite choruses of the 90s. And th that's not even a joke. It's just it's epic. The way it hits your ear is great. Um fuzz soaked guitar is nothing yes, better. Nothing better. Uh Yeah, I love that one. Yeah, so the last song that we're going to be hitting today is probably their most iconic song. There's a lot of iconic moments um with this song, Woodstock 99. Uh Gavin plays it in the rain. The song is Glycerin. And I'm really just going to go right into it because it's just guitar. That's it. There's a string section that's very, very great in the middle of the song. It kind of opens it up a little bit more, um, and the guitar drops out. But then it comes in and does the exact same thing. So I'm just going to go into it. And, uh, yeah, this has been the Puddle of Grunge channel, I guess, um, for a video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to go enter the giveaway and um yeah here's glycerin yeah. 